Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're taking a look at the new Westman Atelier limited edition box called the Petal Edition. So this is a trio, you've got this gold box here, this is, you know, cardboard and it is magnetized so it's a nice box here and you have a trio of products in here. So we have two new items and one regular edition item that is in limited edition packaging. So first up in this gold and black, this is one of the lit up highlighting sticks. All three of these are called petal. <laughs> so this is the lit up highlighting stick in petal. So this is new, it's limited edition. And here it is. So you can see that you've got kind of this dusty rose highlighting shade and this is if you have fair skin like me this is deep enough that if you want a very pale shimmery blush you could use it that way so you can see you've got a little bit of like a dusty nude in there you've got a little bit of rose and it has a sheen to it so if you're familiar with the lit up highlight sticks these are the balmy highlighting sticks they have a little bit like of little slick to them and there's a lot of sheen to them but no actual glitter pieces so there will definitely be shine but not glitter chunks the next item in here is one of the squeaky clean lip balms and again shade petal all of the West Mantelle products are made in Italy so here's this and the actual box itself, uh, you know, putting them in the box, it says assembled in the USA for that. So this here is the item that we have in the regular uh, edition here. So this is the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Petal. I actually already have one, so I'm going to give this one to a friend. <laughs> so. I didn't want to use the one that obviously I'm going to give to her. So, uh, but you can see that it is going to be the same in the permanent line. So let's go ahead and do that. And then here, let's do another one and just kind of buff this out a little bit. So you can see what it looks like. So it's going to be a warmer, dusty rose. Let's talk about each of these items while I show you a little demo. So we're gonna start off with the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick and this has a net weight of six grams. As I mentioned before, all of these items are made in Italy. Now, typically with the blush sticks, uh, depending on the deeper shades, I'll usually just go straight in with a brush, put a little product on the, the brush, maybe have to tap it off depending on how deep the shade is and then blend it on my cheeks. This time I wanted to show you how pigmented the color is, so I did put some directly on the cheek first so you can kind of see you know, how pigment that is. One of the great things about these Baby Cheeks Blush Sticks, I personally really like the formula. They are a drier cream formula, so they are creamy enough to blend out and go on smoothly, yet they're dry enough that they have a lot of longevity. They're gonna last pretty much all day, at least on my skin, which is balanced and they don't have a ton of sheen or shine to them. It's not quite matte, but pretty much a matte cream blush. And I think they're just a really sophisticated finish. I personally really like them and they have lasted a long time for me. So they do have an 18 month shelf life and I picked some up. I've had some of them more than 18 months and they still do not smell off or anything, no textural changes. So, so far so good with those. Moving on to the Lit Up Highlighting Stick. I have several of these, we'll compare these in a few minutes, but I like the Lit Up Highlighting Sticks. They're not a favorite product of mine from Westman Atelier, but I always get intrigued with the new shades and I, I get very curious. And I have to say that the ones that I tend to like from her are typically the ones with more color to them, like this shade here in Petal. So this is going to be five grams of product. They have a lot of sheen and you can see applying this directly from the stick, how much pigment you can actually get from this uh, if you want to. So it should work for a fairly wide variety of skin tones here. Personally, for me, my favorite application method with these highlighting sticks is to dab some on my finger and then apply it to my cheekbones. And I feel like 
that gives me a lot of shine, but I don't end up with too much product. So I have to say, I do really like this particular shade in the highlighting stick. And I'll show you my other favorites in the comparison section. So moving on, we have the squeaky clean lip balms. These are really more of, you know, more of like a lip gloss type product. So they, for me, they're very comfortable on the lips. I find them to have a medium weight texture and they're creamy, but not necessarily like oily on the lips and they're pigmented. I have to say, I do like her squeaky clean lip balms. I think they are nice. They're nothing, um, you know, they're nothing like out of this world, like revolutionary, different from all other liquid lip balms or anything like that. But I think they're a really great product. So I was really eager to see the shade and petal. I only have a couple of her liquid lip balms, but we will swatch those and a couple other comparisons as well. And I just want to note that there is fragrance listed in the ingredients for the squeaky clean lip balms. I have to say it's not really something noticeable, but I did want to mention that for anybody who is sensitive to fragrance. So let's go ahead and move on to comparisons. All right, so we're not going to do a lot of comparisons of the blush sticks, but I do want to compare. This is shade number one from Clay de Peau in the cream blush line. This is my favorite cream blush formula. You can see shade number one is going to be a little bit brighter, more, a little bit, there's also a little bit of orange in there, but it's a brighter pink than the Dusty Rose in the petal shade. All right, this is one of the Cure Weiss cream blushes. This is Reverence and this is another favorite formula. You can see this is kind of a dusty rose also, but it is gonna be a little bit cooler in tone than petal. And we're just gonna look at one more comparison. This is Makeup by Mario in Dusty Rose. Let's put that right there. And you can see this is gonna be a little bit deeper. Um, the shades though are actually fairly similar. So it is a pretty close color. Let's move on to the highlighting stick. And the first one I wanted to take a look at this is the Suku uh, highlighting stick that came out just with one of the last collections. This is 102 and this is limited edition, but I did want to show you how different they are. You can see this is going to be more like peachy pink and it is very shimmery. There is some glitter in the Suku. This is La Bouche Rouge in Rose and this is going to be like a firmer cream product. And again, you can see this one is going to be peachier than what you have in the petal shade. And then Surratt Rose Diamante. And this one has glitter too. It's going to be cooler in tone and it's going to be lighter. So as you can see, I don't really have a shade quite like it. I do just want to show you the uh, lit up sticks that I have from Westman Atelier. So we're going to put these just put a little bit right down here in between. This one's brulee, which for me, I use more like as a, you know, like a shimmery bronzer, essentially. This one here is nectar. This one here is nectar. And we're gonna put this right down here. This one is one of my favorites. So I use this one more than any of the other lipsticks. It's a very light peach, but notice how light it is compared to petal. Petal is going to have a lot more pigment than nectar does. Let me just put those side by side here on my hand. Okay, so here's nectar. You can barely see it on my skin versus petal. And then the original is lit, which is kind of this like white with a little bit of like a blue and pink reflect to it. All right, and next we're gonna look at the Squeaky Clean Lip Balm. So I have a couple of these. This one here is Nana, and this is gonna be kind of like a nude shade, and you can see how much more brown that is. And then the other shade I have, this one's actually one that I like the most. This is Garcon. And this one has like some plum in there, some purple. You can see it's more of a mauve. This is gonna be a little bit deeper on the lips than Petal. And then this is one of my favorite liquid lip balms. This is from Givenchy. This is number 210. I have to say I wear this one all the time. This is one I'm actually gonna need to buy a replacement of um, because I use it so much. Uh, it's hard to get. Let me swatch these better. Okay, let me put the 210 here. 
All right, here's the squeaky clean. So you can see squeaky clean is gonna be a little bit more pink, a little bit cooler in tone. Um, the 210 from Givenchy has a little bit more nude in there. And then I wanted to take a look at Fizz from Victoria Beckham as well. So let's put that one right there. And you can see, again, it's gonna be pretty close, but this one actually has a little bit of purple in there. It's a little bit more mauve in tone in comparison, but I would say all three of these are fairly close. So I hope those comparisons were helpful. Just one more thing here. This is the West Minnetelli blush in Mimi. You can see it's much more nude than Petal. I wanted to say the reason I got this box was because of this blush in Mimi. So this blush was limited edition, part of the box that came out last year for the holidays and I did not pick it up. I passed because I had the other items in the box and I was like kicking myself until they ended up bringing this back. So it's back at least for this year in limited edition packaging. There's uh, like a donation aspect, I think, part of that. And it's exclusive to the West Manitalia website. So I picked it up. I love the shade. I use it all the time. So I didn't wanna miss out on anything in this box that would be kind of like the same situation. I have to say, I think the product that would be most comparable to that level of hype would be the highlighting stick in Petal, but I don't think it's quite as good as the blush stick in Mimi. I really like the Petal stick uh, in the, the lit up stick in Petal. I think it's very nice. And, you know, I do hope that they end up making it permanent. I think it's definitely something that gives a, I, I like the color. I like the glow. I like how I can use it, you know, as a shimmering blush if I want. So it's definitely for me, well worth getting the box for that particular shade. I also love this lip gloss or lip balm in petal. It's definitely going to be a great shade. And of course, the Petal Baby Cheeks, if you don't have that, it's a great addition as well. It's definitely one of my favorite shades in her line. However, there's nothing as iconic, at least to me, as the Mimi blush in this year's box. So I think everything in it is great. I'm very happy with everything in it. I think it's a great box. Do I think it's a must have? I don't think it's a must have for everybody. I think there are definitely gonna be certain people who absolutely love everything in this box and others who are like, ah, it's ordinary. So, you know, pick and choose, check your collections, see what you already have and see whether or not this box is a must have for you. But I do think it's a really nice curated collection and I really like the color so you know I think it's really great and it's signature Gucci Westman you know when I think of her I think of the petal baby cheeks so it's really nice to be able to see some other products in that same color so overall very nice set I'd love to know what you think down below in the comments and I will see you very soon so have a wonderful day and thanks for watching